Okay guys, um, I have a, this circuit here is just half of what it's all going to be. Um, we have a 12 volt battery here. Uh, it comes down to this little bar here. Uh, our positive goes to this light bulb. Now it's a half an ohm uh, filament and I put that there to protect if, if the reed sticks, the light bulb lights and it doesn't burn out the reed. Um, there'll be a lot of current going through this coil here. That's about uh, 0.4 ohms. So positive goes into the light bulb out to the reed. The other end of the reed goes to the side of the coil. The other side of the coil goes here and there's your negative side of the battery there. So when the reed closes we put the battery across the uh, coil here. Um, then our coil connected here and here we have this output to this strip we have a little bridge rectifier then I have the positive hooked up to this leg of the bridge and then this leg of the bridge the negative comes over into here and we're measuring the cap here the cap is 400 volt 68 microfarad um, this coil uh, I haven't measured it yet. Uh, I know that there's a process to do it. Uh, I just really haven't done it yet, but from what I can uh, calculate off of an inductor calculator, it's around 2 millihenries, uh, 0.4 ohms. I think it's an 18 gauge wire. You can see it. I've used this in some of my other videos. Uh, meters showing 2 volts on this cap. Now we have this set up. Uh, in a way that when I bring a magnet onto this side of the reed when it closes sends current to here and then this sends a countering uh, same pole which makes the reed open again and then it oscillates so I'm going to get the magnets here and I'm going to turn this meter on so that it rings as we hear the voltage at one point. Alright, you take this magnet, and you'll be able to see. I'm going to put the camera here. Up to 117 volts. Now I have some other caps here if I want to charge it faster. I just used that cap because it, it definitely showed. Uh, uh, you know, the progress of the charging. So the smaller the cap, the quicker it's going to get to that voltage. So after this cap charges, what we're going to do is this is a 12 volt coil on this relay. So at 12 volts it should activate, probably maybe a little less than that. Uh, double pull, double throw. And I'm going to attach a resistor to this coil so that when it reaches 100 to 150 volts on this cap, there will be 12 volts across this and this will close. I'm going to use both sides in parallel to double up the contact area and then we're going to discharge the cap into this transformer. This come out of a UPS um, small one, you know, maybe run your computer for 10-15 minutes. Um, this would be your primary 120 volts and then here's your center tapped output 12 volts here and 12 volts here or 24 across there um, but what was unique about this transformer I don't know if we can see it on here is there's two wires coming off of this one four going to this one and two coming to that one so I can configure this transformer in many ways uh, by changing those wires and maybe going by filer with it but I'm going to use that transformer as a capacitor discharge and see what we get out of it. Um, this is all the further I'm going tonight. I got this part set up. Um, light bulb never really lights. If I put the magnet the other way so that the coil actually helps hold the reed, the light should light. Yeah. I pull the reed away. They got stuck. I uh, maybe use a smaller bulb. Hmm. 
not warm or anything. Let's see. Let's see how high we can get this. Reed was stuck. 214. Two hundred seventy takes a long time, so a smaller cap will charge quicker with this circuit. But the potential probably go up to three hundred volts with this. Um, well, let's see what happens tomorrow. I'll hook up the relay and the transformer and see if we can light a bulb from it, and then we'll do some measuring and see what happens. All right, thanks, guys.